Welcome to number six episode of Day of Vlog, where we are going to show what we have filmed, what we have seen on our daily trip to Ubud, where we've discovered coffee plantation, but most importantly, what coffee, the coffee luwak, which is the coffee that's um, considered the most expensive in the world. Well, so far, we're considered for sure one of the most expensive in the world. One thing must be said, so um, as we we dedicated, we talk a lot about cocktail and an intelligent use of the ingredients and so the sustainability and then how to improve this world of mixology and all the things related to drinks. So it, it comes to go deep and investigate and understand how things start uh, from the consumer. And especially when it comes to this kind of coffee and some people that just came to me a few weeks ago telling me, people that certainly are more experts in coffee than me, coming to me telling me that this coffee should be avoided and a little study, a little more study, a little more investigation. Uh, we've been following some articles and some uh, journalists deeper into this uh, conversation and some people have written in the past something that I was not aware of. And it's interesting to document and to see what we talk about here. So Kopiluwak, it's something that some people that some people say that should be avoided. This video is meant to show just our experience in that place, in that day, in that moment that we believe was fascinating, especially because these guys have shown us how they have grown a business into short time, just not with coffee, but also with plants, roots, teas, and uh, attractions for tourists. But it's interesting to read this article from the from a blog called Nord Nordic Coffee Culture. Now I'm just reading a few lines uh, like to report. I will attach the link then in the descri description of the video. So the legend has that Kopi Luwak, an Indonesian coffee from the so-called Luwak animal, called, known as Sivet Kat as well, was discovered in Indonesia under the Dutch colonial rule. During that time, native farmers and plantation works, workers were forbidden to harvest coffee for their own use and were left to scrounge around for it. They soon discovered that the Sivet Kat would eat coffee cherries and pass the seeds, the coffee beans without digesting them. So which coincidentally um, what happened with the seeds of most fruits and just so happens to be the evolutionary purpose of most fruits upon brewing coffee made from these beans they discovered it tasted much better than the conventional coffee of the time there are two obvious reasons why this would be the case selective picking and through washing the civet cut freeze to graze and the cherries will naturally consistently eat only the ripe cherries while coffee pickers back then were much less discriminating the beans would also have all the extra fruits beads stripped off by enzymes during digestion, which is the secret behind it and it's what Coffee Luwak is all about it. So what Coffee Luwak was is no big mystery. Well processed beans from uniformly ripe coffee cherries, it's near certainly it would have been appreciably better than what was processed by humans back then. And that's what has created the might and still surrounds it. The problem with Kopi Luwak today are serious. For so many reasons, it's a miracle that it's still a market for it. First of all, more than 80% of the coffee sold as Kopi Luwak are fake. Now, what does this mean? You'll probably be drinking coffee that hasn't been near a coffee civet, that hasn't been even far away from the animal. Why? Because civet cats are small animals without voracious appetites they're nocturnal, solitary, and live in the rainforest. Harvesting real free-range Kopi Luwak is more or less like hunting for pool truffles. As I said, this is from Nordic Coffee Culture, an interesting blog that talks about this kind of coffee, and I will attach the link below. So guys, a few concerns have raised behind this coffee. We just want to guide you through this experience. We are putting online a video that we of our journey hope you will like the video let us know if you have been there in these places if you have seen the animals eating digesting these fruits some more studies needs to be done some more studies needs to be um, you know we have to investigate more about some people have their own concerns we have tasting this coffee we liked it we bought some cases of it we are against 
animal abuse, we will always be against animal abuse too. Have your ideas? Let us know. The first one we have Arabica coffee, this one is Arabica coffee, okay. and the second one we have Robusta coffee. Robusta? That one. Yeah. Okay. That's just Arabica, and that one is Robusta coffee. We are very interested in the coffee because we, we work in uh, bars. Oh, sure. So we do a lot of coffee. In Europe they sell the Indonesian coffee, it's expensive, it's very beautiful. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, this is the the maximum heat. No, this uh, uh, I think uh, the Arabica uh, one one meter until two meter. Okay. Yeah. Uh, for the Arabica. Cherry, do you want to have the green color? Yeah. So become the red ones the red. Yeah. After. <laughs> yeah, we make tea. We, uh, we have tea here also. In yeah. 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 And this one we have lemongrass. Yeah, lemongrass. You can smell. Yeah, you can smell. It. The lemon grass. Uh, it's good for diet. Yeah. If you hang over, it's good for you. Good as well. <laughs> and this one we have uh, ginger. Ginger. Yeah, ginger. We use the root for me. So you guys here have a lot of different plants, not just coffee. Yeah. But ginger, yes. lemon grass. Yeah. Turmeric. Hmm. And the ginger yes. grows under the soil. Yeah. We. Should, uh, it's the root. Yeah. It's the root. Okay. For coffee. And Turmeric. Yeah, it's just turmeric. So I'm always the root from the tea. Nice. Okay. This one we have ginseng. Ginseng. Do you know Red Bull? Red Bull? Yeah, yeah. the composition also from the ginseng. Okay. okay. Yeah. To make the coffee oh. uh, from the Okay. So tell us again, this one is? The poo. Okay. The poo, the poo. Yeah. So we need to wash it with hot water. So we need to wash it with hot water to clean and sterile. And we dry with the sun. And, uh, okay. And we peel. Mm. That's, the, that's the fruit inside. Yeah, because because the coffee cherry have the three layer of the skin. The animal eat the first time only the red one. And this was the second. Okay. Every day. And the last skin. Yeah. And the lady there is cooking the coffee beans. Yeah. And we roasting. Roasting. Normally we're roasting one hour, one kilo. It's all this coffee, it's cultivated here. Oh, we have the big garden in ah, the okay, one. okay. Yeah, we're roasting. Oh, okay. And then we come back. Yeah. Amazing. Fascinating. And we grind it. Okay. Yeah, for looking for that. You can see the water. You sell this coffee in the shops, in the bar as well, yeah. here in Bali. So intense. And you can compare this one to the normal coffee. Okay. Yeah, you can compare. Yeah, even the color is different. Yeah. This one is Yeah, much you more feel delicate. much more. And we have the spice also. Okay. Ah, and this was mangosteen. Mangosteen. Yeah, this was mangosteen. We make tea here. It's good for cancer. Okay. Yeah. So is it, but this is just the skin in this one? Yeah, we make so you skin. dry it. Yeah, we dry it. Uh, Lemongrass. 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 Turmeric, this one? This one. Yeah, turmeric. Hibiscus? Mm -hmm. oh. Yeah. So, honestly, hibiscus is Nice. Uh, ginger. Uh, 
Atme. 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 Obviously, you open the cardamom. Yeah. This you crush. You have the the perfume is inside. Mm. This was black pepper. Black pepper. Black pepper. Yeah, it's clove. Yeah, we mix together for aroma. Okay. To make uh, an aroma, you mix them together. Yeah. Uh, we mix uh, in here. We mix. Uh, yeah. yeah. We mix in here. This is special coffee here. This was the Luwak coffee. Luwak. Yeah. If you want to try, you charge 50,000 okay. rupiah for one cup. Yeah. And, and then I give you, sorry. And then I give you free for the testing. Yeah. yeah. We have coffee, tea, and hot chocolate. I give okay. you all of us. You can try all of us. Okay, let's have two coffees. Yeah. We have to choose. Yeah. I will have a cup of this one. Yeah. You want to win a cup? Uh, we share one cup. One cup. And then we will have something from here. Yeah. Yeah? Okay. Okay, what Thank you. So for many times we heard about this Kopi Luwak coffee, which is here. And now we are in one of the plantations where this coffee is cultivated. It's eaten by the little animals and it's digested and it's, um, you know, it's ejected. It's, <laughs> Make it's the poop and that's it. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah, we now actually trying this coffee and that, uh, the legend and the reality always meant that it's a very expensive product. It can be considered a luxury product in the Western world. But now here we happen to see these people who actually cultivate this and uh, they make it reality for us. How amazing is this? Oh, it's dry banana. This is the coffee Yeah. Thank you so much. Thank you. Okay, let's plan it. So we can follow this? <laughs> yeah. In the order? Okay, the name coffee and tea, just follow the list. Yeah. We start from Bali coffee, coconut coffee, vanilla coffee, ginger coffee, and little ginseng. In the middle, we have tea, mango steam tea, ginger tea, lemon tea, lemon grass tea, and the herbal. This one hot chocolate, alo mochaccino, hibiscus, and the little lamb coffee. Okay. Yeah. You can try the one first and you compare the normal coffee. Okay. Thank you. You're welcome. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Oh! 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 So, yeah. Yeah. With, yeah. I'll, have the, I'll have the Luwak first. Yeah. Oh. Super, super hot. It has, of course, perfume of coffee, but it don't be silly. It has the perfume of the best coffee in the world. Wow. A soft little cream, dark, really, really dark. <laughs> it starts quite gentle in your mouth. It opens up more and more. You feel a little of acidity, a little bitterness. It's a very long finish. It's not too. Str it's not strong. I was expecting stronger. Let me see a it's still opening up to more and more flavors. You want to try the Lua? Try. Okay, cool. Ah, and the banana. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, it's a uh, cappuccino. Where's the cappuccino? Where's the cappuccino? Okay, I'm waiting, I'll make it for you. Coffee Luwak's 
coffee copy luck copy luck testing we have a lot to do we have a lot to do this is just yes. the best what's next Next is going to be the coconut coffee selected okay. from best Kim Damani coffee and fresh coconut cream. Yeah. That's so good. it's a coffee, I think it's going to be my favorite. Blended with not dairy, not dairy cream and sugar to get the rich taste of coconut and coffee. Let's see. Okay, time to taste it. Oh my god. <laughs> is it sweet? It's like it's natural, like natural sweetness. Drinking coffee from the coconut itself. And the smell is so rich. It's oh my god, I drink a lot of coffee. Leave a little bit for me. Mm. Try another one? Vanilla. So Marcella is guiding you to a full tasting of different coffees, aromatized. So vanilla coffee, a blend of coffee and vanilla extract is good for health, used to relieve stress and also vanilla make our body feel relaxed. Drink vanilla coffee in the morning, good for mood booster. Okay. Fine, mood booster. This is what you need in London when it's raining, mood booster. Okay, Marcella decides to have another sip of coconut coffee. That she, she says that it's the best thing she's tried in the world. We now have to try the vanilla coffee. That's the next one. I try this vanilla coffee. Let try. us know. Let us know. I, I tried already. They pair very well with peas and banana chips. Just start banana. Mm. That's good. Mamma mia. I'm so burned. And we have Bali Belly. This is good for the Bali Belly. Ginseng. 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 Tell us about this. No, this is ginger, it's not ginseng. <laughs> oh yeah, because gin ginseng is the last one. Oh, God. It's okay. Okay, this is ginger and it's obviously powerful, but it's not like the infusion of ginger that we used to used to make oh, wow, it's like slices ginger and put it in the water. It has the coffee in the background. It's like having Spicy coffee. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. You have a cup, you have a cold. It's the right thing to drink, no? No, I think it's... <laughs> so far it's my, my favorite. Just after the coconut. Coffee. This is my favorite. The coconut. It's been We're filming with the phone, so please apologize. Well, I consider our apologies. Um, for the, um, and the ginger. Try the, the ginseng coffee. Which one? Ginseng is mine. Oh, this, is, this is the perfume of Southeast Asia. <laughs> Cloudy. Cloudy. A little cream. You don't need to add any sugar. <laughs> yeah, we, we, we've been drinking this in the Italy, Europe, more in Italy, but more in Italy than, uh, than, than England. Taste. I think like you go to the bar, you can have coffee alternative, you go to drink ginseng. No, 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 no. These guys are proud to say that this But do you think they blend it with the coconut water? For example, coconut coffee for them is coffee blended instead of water with the coconut water, right? It's, it's infused in, in the coconut water. It's infused, water. so... Okay. I, I, for me. Sorry, I had it all. <laughs> Sorry, I had it all. <laughs> I keep eating bananas. Yeah, this is very rich. <laughs> very rich. So, shall we pass to the teas? Mango skin tea. Mango skin tea. We're gonna be very active today. Madonna. Madonna. Someone needs energy. Needs to come here. 
Mr. Lumbo. <laughs> Lumbo Sari. Lumbo Sari. House of coffee. Lower coffee. Just, uh, to, be, to be precise. Yeah, mm, just about uh, 50,000 rupees. We have a whole selection of coffee teas. Our kids crying as well in the background as always. Wherever you go. But look at the environment. Yeah, maybe turn the camera. from the other. <laughs> You know? No, I don't understand. Yeah. How do I so this one is the line of coffee. This is like this. Okay. So in order not to get we lost, we need to find it. So this is the line like this. Yeah. Oh. You know? No. Three. One, two, three. Five. You know? So follow this line in okay, the middle. It's all this. This, 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 this. Anyone knows what's mangosteen? I don't know. Yeah. So mangosteen is a tropical fruit, uh, local. It is looking very similar to a lychee. I mean, when you open inside, you got this pulp which is white in color. It looks like a lychee. It smells like a lychee. It's, I think it's in the same family of lychee. So mangosteen and is a fruit, yeah. basically. Ah. Mangosteen is the same family of the lychee. The health benefits of mangosteen peel are treating cancer, preventing heart disease, overcome diarrhea, preventing diabetes, preventing aging, boost immunity and also strengthen the immune system. Reading from the paper provided us from the owners here. What a, what a perfume smell. It perfumes like the some mm. local typical flowers mm. you find here in the streets. Mm. Like it's very gentle. It's, it's like he has a hint it's like of, a biscuit uh, a bit, durian no? as well. It perfumes mm. of durian as well. You know the jackfruit. Similar. This one is a bit acidic. Where it starts with a bit sour, acidic. It reminds me. It reminds me strawberries. Mm, strawberry. Dark, very red strawberry. Um, yeah, it's fascinating. Yeah, it's very strawberry. It's, it's strawberry. fascinating. Don't put the hand on So people know, someone know, ah, you come from Robocon. Oh my god. Perfume, yeah. I obviously mm. see this uh, infusion in, in cocktails, in long drinks. This I think in cocktails you, you, you can make a soda. We need to find it. A soda. Mangosteen. Like mangosteen. We need to find it. So they, they use the skin. They don't use the pulp, as you can see from the color. Spread color. Mangosteen, I think in cocktails. Yeah. Works. Is going to be even Just to, works. you know to, to rip the sweet taste of raspberries, you know, which is very usual. This is much more, I don't know, exotic. Exotic, tropical, yeah. Yeah. But you close your eyes, and if you've been here, I think I will. You remember you can this find place. In your head, the <laughs> taste of yeah, Bali, yeah, yeah. even when you come back. Poetical moment. Poetical moment. <laughs> We I'll go ahead with the ginger tea. We are halfway through <coughs> the whole board. Uh, feeling excited, feeling boosted, feeling happy, revitalized. Never gonna leave this place. Durian coffee. No, it was here. That one is ginger. No, we didn't have. Oh, what's this? <laughs> so, Bali cocoa. No, Bali cocoa, Bali mocacino, rosella tea, durian coffee. Questo durian coffee. This is durian coffee. Bali mocacino is coffee drinks made from chocolate and milk. Currently, mocha java blend is mixed with other varieties common to create a unique character. Characteristics. Many coffee companies that have mixture of its own. Its composition formulated from cocoa powder, coffee, VN, hot milk, and foam. Mm.
I mean, this, is, this is fine. This is so obviously coffee, milk, and cocoa. It's, it's nice, but sure, not 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 the you know, the most exciting in in the bowl here. Not the most original. We are quite used to this kind of flavor mixed together. Mm, that's fine. Have it. That's Bali cocoa. This is like old chocolate, Bali nice. Bali. So it's not coffee. No. no. <laughs> you know, chocolate, but much more authentic, like much more herbal and uh, much more wild. I, I had this already. Rosella tea. Can you drive me to the Rosella tea? Still after 15 minutes, and I still don't understand how to read the sheet that I gave you. The sheet with all the Rosella tea. Oh. Comparing it with the tray. Bocaccino. Rosella tea. Rosella tea. And durian coffee. Okay, Rosella or hibiscus. Oh. Have a major nutrients like calcium, iron, vitamin C, magnesium, and has many health benefits like treatment of the common cold events. Constipation, healthy pregnancy, treatments of the common cold, and maintains healthy teeth and gums. But you have to prove that you have a medical condition. So you can't be so Very sweet and floral. <laughs> I would say these infusions I see them very well in some cocktails and in some long drink, not too alcoholic as always, but that, that's what I like, what I love, what I like. The coffee they're themselves, uh, this is they like have to be drunk by themselves. This is like the Mexican version, you know? It's, yeah, the yeah, hibiscus. I remember, I remember yeah. the hibiscus. Um, Agua de Jamaica. Yeah. It's, I mean, it says in the it's description the, that, it's that... It's not the same, but remember the hibiscus. Recalls the hibiscus. Oh. Who are we missing now? Similar. We're the missing durian the yellow coffee. one. Durian coffee. Oh, the durian coffee. Well, I must say, it's not the best coffee in the world. It, has, it doesn't have the, the best. It's reputation? No, it's not about the reputation. But did you know before that, that about, about this? Catch, yeah. Did you know Perfume before about this kind of stuff? No, I know the fruit inside, the durian, which is the rocky, all those spikes around the typical fruit of Indonesia and the Southeast Asia. So yes, that's it's the big that, that one. Very, yeah, that oh. very, you know, catchy Maybe. fruit. Still, still we need to taste. Okay, this is probably the one I like less, but it's very particular and probably it's the most local than anyone else. No, the smell is not my favorite. It's not my favorite smell. <laughs> I might have a banana. It's not for me. Not for you. I'm gonna try the yellow one. Uh, this durian coffee actually has got so many benefits, nutritional benefits for to help drop down content that existed. The durian fruit is one of the systems that can produce essential animals, animal acids that be the needs the from ser serotonin, melatonin, which can to prevent depression, insomnia, stress and pain. Interesting. The description is provided by <laughs> shop. But you can feel it's very... Yeah. Not the best, not the best aroma in the world. Kids keep crying here. Okay. <laughs> One is trying to do something, something professional here. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Mm? It's good now. Okay, missing just three. Lemon Herbal tea, <laughs> lemongrass tea. Mm. And what? What's this? Lemongrass? Lemongrass is sweet, balsamic. We all know what's the flavor of the lemongrass. We all know how lemongrass works fantastic in cocktails. Oh, how it works in the kitchen in the food as well. 
Nah, too expensive for us. We call it ara. Ara, ara is the cheap one. Just try it, ara. Yeah, what's wrong? Lem, lemon tea. Lemon tea. Lemon tea, cloudy. Broken lemon tea. Yeah, I think similar. Tastes like vodka. Yeah, tastes like vodka. Lemon cello. No, I swear. Lemon cello. It's like non-alcoholic lemon cello. Just the same taste. Hmm. We know alcohol. Italy should you know? learn from this. Preparing yes. non alcoholic limoncello. It's, 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 this is the limoncello, no alcohol. Mm -hmm. yeah. Is the one that we tried? Yeah. Okay. Ah, so you got all the blends that you put on the chase, yeah. that you can buy them. Thank you.